Good morning, athletes. Happy Friday. Welcome to the end of the week. You made it. Just one workout left for the week, and then Saturday, of course, we should be on our Zoom calls. So today, uh, we're going to start with our warm-up five-minute AMRAP, trying to warm up our core a bit, our glutes, and our legs. So we're going to do sit-ups, ab mat, no ab mat, totally fine. Then we're going to go glute bridge-ups, feet close to our butt, bridging up out of that position. And then we are going to do lunges with a twist, just lunging in place forward, twisting side to side as you go through that. That'll be your warm up moving through that for five minutes. Strength portion today, you will need a dumbbell or kettlebell. We are going to be moving through Imam style, 15 minutes, 45 seconds of work, 15 seconds of rest each minute. We're going to start with a dumbbell or kettlebell swing. If you've got a kettlebell, just holding it by its handle normally. We're going to swing that just to eye level or overhead. Either is fine for today. If you're using a dumbbell, recommendation is to hold it by the head of the dumbbell. That way you can pivot a little bit around your hand. I do not know if I would recommend going completely overhead in this way. You will need to hold it tightly at the top so it does not fall on your head. Minute two, we are going to be doing a front rack hold. Very simple, all we're doing is holding in this position, standing position. We're focusing on a couple of things here. Our rib cage should be pulled down. We should be almost a little bit leaning forward here, not leaning back. So focus on that rib cage being pulled down. Our glutes should be firing, squeeze tight. And in that hold, we wanna make sure that one, we're not resting it on our elbow, we should be resting it a little bit more on our bicep, and we want to keep our elbow tall and engaging with these upper back muscles. Focusing on that rather than just letting it rest on our shoulders and standing there. So if you're not feeling it in your upper back, change your position a little bit. Finally, we're going to finish with heel taps over your dumbbell or kettlebell. Heel taps, you'll be in your quadruped position and you're focusing on one, keeping your back nice and flat here, close to the ground, knees close to the ground, and we are just reaching back with our feet, reaching forward with our feet, back with our hands, to touch our heels. Go slowly through this. There's no need to move fast. The slower you go, the more you will get a good core engagement. Make sure that you're not letting your, your hips fall too far down. You should be kind of almost in a plank position. It'll feel like as you hold that position. All right, after that, we're getting into a little bit of a complicated workout, sprint workout today. Bunch of different AMRAPs. So what that's going to look like, three minute AMRAP, 40 meter shuttle run. Shuttle run is just out and back very quickly, touching the ground, coming back. So that's 40 meters total. So you're gonna go out 20 meters, back 20 meters. Then you're gonna take that immediately into 30 single unders. So if you get through that, however fast you get through that, you are gonna continue working through that for three minutes and then rest a minute. Here's our single unders, very simple. If you don't have a jump rope, just do hops in place, same idea, or lateral hops over your dumbbell or kettlebell. Very good, uh, very good option for scaling there. Rest a minute, we're going into another three minute AMRAP. Again, 40 meter shuttle run. And this time, we've got five single dumbbell front squats. So, we're gonna hold that in that nice front position, making sure our elbows are tall, nice position, working through those. We're working quickly, this is meant to be a sprint. So five, you should go through quickly. You shouldn't have to rest. You shouldn't be thinking about how terrible it's going to be to get onto that dumbbell. You should be going from that shuttle run right into, that, right into those front squats. Go through that again as many times as you can in three minutes. Then we're resting another minute. Then another three minute AMRAP. Guess what? Shuttle runs and single unders again. So 
Same thing as we did in the first round, we're doing it again. Rest again, three more mi minutes of AMRAP, same thing as before, shuttle run and front squats. Go through that and then you're finally done. So you've got four rounds total of three minutes each round and you've got two of each version of it. But all of it is going to be shuttle runs. So make sure you are focusing on those shuttle runs. Um, if 20 meters of distance is going to be too challenging for you to have in the area you've got that you can sprint, then just mark out 10 meters and do it twice. So you go out, back, out, back. That'll be your